falling test scores and rising violence are among CMS's most notable failures this school year, but public records reviewed by Nate Morbido show delays and communication failures have also plagued the central office. In the months leading up to today's emergency school board meeting, emails detail frustration by some board members and even Ernest Winston himself. When you're the boss, every major decision reflects your leadership. I wanted to see a comprehensive safety program by the end of the first semester and I haven't seen it yet. Whether it's the district's slow reaction to guns on campuses and delays implementing other key decisions, both cited as concerns in a newly released independent investigation. Many are mentally, physically and emotionally simply drained or a mistake by a vendor that alerted already tired and overworked teachers about hours of mandatory training near the end of the school year. As Ernest Winston put it in a February email addressing that tone deaf failure, there's some damage that can't be undone. While board members mainly cited the district's need to improve student successes and outcomes in the classroom, in addition to Title IX problems and questions over the handling of public records requests, two who voted to fire Winston expressed other concerns in February. Just days after, outraged parents shared disappointment that the district approved suggested reading that included graphic language and undertones for their high school students. Here's an excerpt from the book describing the rape of the 16-year-old main character. Sean Strain called the silence from the district on the topic deafening. Rhonda Cheek wondered how parents are included in the decision process, warning parents deserve notice. Otherwise, they will choose to leave CMS. In response to the criticism, Board Chair Elise Dashu told Winston and his deputy superintendent she supports his decision making regarding what's best for students. On that same day, emails show she received a leadership presentation compiled by district administrators and principals, listing, among other things, three guiding principles moving forward. The superintendent will not allow inequitable treatment of students. The superintendent will not deprive students of access to course offerings that are rich, diverse and rigorous, and the superintendent will not neglect students' social emotional health, wellness, and development. Two months later, she and six others voted to fire Winston. Another recent change here at the central office, CMS's assistant superintendent for communications recently left his job here to take a new one elsewhere. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.